Hi everyone, this is Asma Mushtaq from the WE Vibes and in this tutorial we are going to solve the end problem which is 5.16 find from the Morris Manu and in this problem you have to design a sequential circuit which contains the two flip flops named as flip flop A and the flip flop B fine and here is one input as well which is denoted by X in okay and the statement says that the next states of these flip flops which is denoted by a of t plus 1 and b of t plus 1 remains same if x of n is equal to 0. What does it mean? It means that a of t plus 1 is actually equal to a of t and similarly b of t plus 1 is equal to b of t if the input is equal to 0. Alright? And when x input is equal to 1, then what will happen the transition will be like from 0 0 so if both flip flops are in 0 0 states they will go into 0 1 okay and if they are in the 0 1 state they will go into 1 1 all right and if they are in 1 1 state they will go into 1 0 state and finally if both are in 1 0 state then they will go back to 0 0 state so this is actually the condition that is given let's first draw the state diagram for that so this is the first step for designing the sequential circuit all right and for designing or drawing the state diagram uh, we can uh, we know that two flip flops are present so Two states either can be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and sorry 1, 1 and then 1, 0. Alright. Let's just enclose them within a circle for indicating these are the states of the flip flops. Fine. Now according to the given condition what we are supposed to do first if x of n or input is equal to 0, they will remain in their <coughs> current state. So when input is equal to 0, then their state doesn't change. But when input is equal to 1, so this is basically the input that I have highlighted. When input is equal to 1, then from 0, 0 it will go to the 0, 1 state. Here I have mentioned the input. Then from 0, 1 to 1, 1. From 1, 1 to 1, 0. And finally from 1, 0 to 0, 0. So this is the state diagram that I have drawn over here. The next step is to construct the state table. The state table is always drawn by writing the current states of the flip-flop so here two flip-flops are present that's why their current state will be denoted by a of t and b of t while here is the input xn the out next states are a of t plus 1 and b of t plus 1 let's just fill this table now first we will write the three bit binary combination because these are the input sides so 0 0 0 0 0 1 so here i have completed the three bit binary combination merely fine now let's apply the in given condition when input is equal to 0 all the next states will be equal to their previous states fine so this is basically the zero input and for that whatever the previous state is I will just copy paste it so it's 0 1 so I will write it 0 1 then similarly it becomes 1 0 then I will have 1 1 all right now let's apply the second condition according to which when input is equal to 1 so here we are having input is equal to 1 and what will happen if the current state is 0 0 it will go to the 0 1 state since it's the input 1, 0, 0, so it will go into the 0, 1 state. From 0, 1 to we will go to 1, 1 state. And then from 1, 1 to, 
so we one zero two we will go to zero zero state and for the one one when input is equal to one we will go to one zero state so this is basically the construction of the state table fine after writing down the state table the next step is to construct or develop the flip flop equations or the state equations so we are uh, we will treat this state as the first output function and this state as the second output function and we will develop or con uh, use the k map for developing the equations for these flip flops so here i will use a three variable k map fine and uh, the mean term m1 3 5 and 7 sorry 8 of t plus 1 is right over here and we have to place these mean terms in this map so for 0 1 1 for 0 and then 1 1 we will have mean term equal to 1 then for 1 0 0 1 0 0 and similarly for 1 1 0 1 1 0 and the last mean term is 1 1 1 all right and let's just combine these mean terms and hence we will get the equation a of t plus 1 is equal to first i will write this mean term which is equal to bx because both variables are equal to 1 plus then a as it is equal to 1 and which variable is not changing it's x so i will write it as ax complement similarly for the b we will place the mean terms according to their values fine so we will have 1 1 1 and 1 over here and when we will combine these mean terms we will get the expression for the b of t plus 1 which is equal to b x complement plus a complement x Fine. So these are the expressions of the output functions. The last step is to draw the circuit diagram for this. Let's do it now. Okay, so these are the output equations of the flip-flop. Assuming that this is the flip-flop A and this is the flip-flop B. Now its output A of T that will produce A of T plus 1 or we can say that this will be the complemented output. Similarly, it will be producing the B and b complement okay and here is the input x in let's just take its inverted value as well okay for implementing a of t plus 1 what i need i need a fine and it should be and it with x in complement then i need bx so i will take b from here and x will come from here okay let's just uh, draw the end gate for that and what we will do we will basically over them in order to provide the d input of this flip flop okay Similarly, b of t plus 1 is equal to a complement into x. So, we are going to determine the input. So, a complement is right over here. Here is b. What we will do? Basically, we will add them. Then, b x complement. So, this is basically b input. And here I need x complement which is the inverted value of x so i will bring it down fine and again we will add these two terms sorry or these two terms or gate will be used which will be connected with the d input of this flip flow so this is the final circuit diagram for that thank you for watching